In this video, I'll talk about autogamy, gynogamy, and xenogamy. These three are a type of pollination that happens in angiosperm. Angiosperms are also known as flowering plants, like this one. So, let's start with autogamy. Autogamy is a type of fertilization in which this pollen grain of a flower lands on the stigma of the same flower. It's known as autogamy. Let's take an example. Like let's say this is the anther of a plant and this is the stigma of the same flower. So if the pollen grain goes from here and lands on the stigma of it, it's known as autogamy. Another example, another one is gytanogamy. Gytanogamy. It happens when the pollen grain of a flower lands on the stigma on another flower, on the same plant. Let's say there's a flower here on a plant and the another one is over here. So if the pollen grain of this flower lands on the stigma of this flower, it's known as gytanogamy. Both autogamy and gytanogamy comes under self-pollination. The last one is xenogamy. Xenogamy. It comes under the category of cross pollination. If let's say there are two different plants, that's the ground or leaf. So if the pollen grain of this plant goes and lands on the stigma of this plant, it's known as xenogamy. There are certain methods by which plant prevents self-pollination. Because due to self-pollination in plants, there are some inbreeding depression that can occur. To prevent this, there are some methods by which plant prevent these inbreeding depressions. These are like unisexuality, hercogamy, self-sterility and other things. So that's all for today and thank you.